All right, here we go, part two. May I'll keep this in 30 minute spurts here. Hold on here, just. Yes. So. I just want to be able to make sure. Okay. Yeah, see. Okay. So as time passed, I kept carrying the bath online, offline, until my old pal said to me, Come on, you know you want her. So one day I cracked. I got a two liter bottle of Coke and a rose. Showed up at her school while she was on her lunch break. Hiding the coat and rose behind my back. You can see me just stand there, ball coke rose behind my back. I asked her, Do you love me? To which she replied, Why? To which I replied more sincerely, Do you love me? To which she replied, Yes. Then I re revealed the ball of coke and a rose. I said, Will you be my girlfriend? To which she replied, Yes. We ended up cuddling at school and lunchroom and talking. When lunch break was over, she took the coke, but she couldn't take the rose home. Due to her living situation, I'll explain more after. We had to keep our feelings secret. More reveal more will be revealed in the story. Now, while my old pal gave me a little boost, so to speak, looking back, yeah, who knows what I may or may not have said and I but I do know I had feelings for her. I came of her that far because I was thinking about her a lot. I was, she was never far from my thoughts. So while I was uncertain if I would or not have asked her to be mine, history has shown that life is indeed full of unexpected surprises indeed. So in short, we were a couple unofficially and our feelings were strong. So I strongly believe it would have been just a matter of time before I asked her on my own to be officially mine. And there's more about that too. Time passes. Now that thing about my knee, that was when I was going behind her parents' back. More be revealed. I know I could have resorted. Look, this is it. Take it away. straight up. But there's a lot of information here. This is a really, this is our life story. This is just epic. So, you know, in my opinion, that's just my opinion though. You know, this is just another life story. I don't know. But time passes. Seeing each other when we could. She had very controlling parents. You know, I wasn't caring about we with each other. I just content living the way we were. But after a few years, she told me her parents and her a certain organization to which I won't reveal. Message me if you want to know. But I choose not to post it on social media. However, I can say it is a religious organization that, ex that is extremely controlling. It is religious. It is a religious organization that is extremely controlling. So bear in mind, she never is, never was in any way, shape, or form part of this religious organization. So time passes and if I decide I want to move, want her to move in with me and the mother and pay board and get a job. She seemed okay with the idea. But again she never told she never told me about what it was for a while. She just said religious organization here I hear I am thinking like government like what? Protective? She wouldn't tell me. And it took a while. But, eventually she did, but I didn't know. But again, I won't say what one message means. Just, this is how it is. Same beer. As I drink, so. <sighs> but she seemed okay with the idea. However, after several talks and arguments, it proved to be extremely difficult to get her to set a date. To move out. 
for a while, I tried various methods. I even had an old co-worker who tried to help me to get her to get a job to move out. We went out for pizza to surprise her. I wasn't in the car. Yeah, I just surprised her. So, we tried to get her on the pie online, being bad talked, alone, etc., etc., etc. So after a few years, I got fed up. Then after a serious talk, which ended up Which I ended up putting her to tears and I told her I was starting to lose faith in her, in the relationship, to put it mildly. I'll leave it at that. And as for if anyone sees this, is, I'm okay. It is what it is. It's stuff. Stuff happens. Nothing, no hitting walls, nothing like that. Just accident. Hurt myself, we'll put it that. No, nothing. No. Just one pinky that hurt my hand. We'll put it that mistakes happen. Maybe it wasn't a hole. <laughs> Alright, um. Okay, here we go. Geez, I'm saying that word um, a little bit. Can I pause? Again, I, it's so touchy how I worded that, it was so long ago, but I'm doing the best I can to bring the details in here. But she wouldn't say a date. I was just losing faith. Well, but after that talk, and me putting her to tears, she agreed to set a date to move out. With all that information in mind, I believe, I would have had the guts to ask her to be mine eventually. Even if I hadn't, even if I hadn't asked her to be mine officially, it still would have continued, I'm 99% sure, because we both passed up chances to date other people, which we told each other every time, one or two on each side. So we were both committed to each other. Later on, Beth did forgive me, and I hated hurting her. She asked me if I felt better now that I l let her have it like that. This gave her a bunch of lip, and I said, no. I, I told her, no, I'm not. I'm just fed up. Just had it. I couldn't take it. And she forgave me, though. And I hate hurting Beth. Mostly. But I've never laid a hand on her. No. That. I was really better than that. But like she did for me, it's called tough love. All I can do is make the judgment call. You know, that's a tough subject. That's just my life. No people, I'm not scratching anything. No, no, no. So time passes. We, just, we see each other less and less. Due to school being done mostly, having trouble getting out of her having trouble getting out of house. We ended up chatting on the computer on a chat program once a week, 11.30 at night till 3 a.m. in the morning. I would have to go to work the next day. Sorry, I tried to slow down. We ended up due to her being out of school. I used to see her after school and other things. But she did have a babysitting job, so I would see her after that. But, yeah. So, I was talking at 11.30 at night, till 3 a.m. in the morning, 3.30 range. I would have to go into work the next day, dead tired, seeing each other once a year, no webcam, behind her parents' back. I took a cab to visit her when her parents went on vacation. I stayed one night and went home so her parents wouldn't catch me. I didn't take the bus because I carried a lot of stuff, booze, food. Pillow, change the clothes, just, I like to break stuff, I like to treat her. And it was a windy road, plus I wanted as much as I could, I wanted as much time as I could, so spending time with her. Taxi was faster any day. I stand by my choice, I'll pay for the convenience. 
I mean, it's easy to talk from point of view. Try walking. You say, see him once a year. Get over it. No, see him once a year. No, no, I'll pay the money to make that extra time. I do it ten times more. I'm happy to pay that price for the convenience. Yeah, and you try living that. No, 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 no. See, I've heard a few people they said, no, I wouldn't wait that long. Well, what would you do for love? If you love the person, you'll suffer. This is me. I love her. I'm a warrior of love. I'm a love warrior. <laughs> Tano. And Beth is also called my gentleman. <laughs> me? Gentleman? Me? Should I treat her better than other guys? And that's the thing, I don't really... I can remember this, that I don't... I'm not like other guys. I treat Beth good. I don't... I'm a good man to her. So... I mean, I would go in, I would stay up 11.30, it started at 11.30 at night, had started at 11.30, parents went to bed, then till 3.30 a.m., I visit her parents, I would also visit her once a year when her parents went on vacation. Again, that, the bus, the taxi, yep, I was a pain in the butt, but I did it. This goes on for years, five, ten at least. Uh, five years at least, but I'm 95% sure it was 10, and sometimes I'm wrong, but in this case, yeah. Yeah. Just like Weber to this day, how I asked her. Do you love me? Certain details are locked. I'm telling you, 10 years. But one day I found a ring. In a Bradford Exchange magazine. And I knew I wanted to give it to her. But I never had a reason to give it to her. So, first of all, an air drink. Excuse me. Before I continue, I want to explain why I said this religious organization is controlling. To name a few things, this religion, religious organization does not take part in Christmas, birthdays, Easter. They're not allowed to have... They're not really allowed to spend time with friends outside the religious organization. So they're not allowed to visit them. I mean, now when dating, that means supervised dating. Someone being right there. Yeah, awkward. Yeah, just freaking lay on an old friend. Yeah, yeah, that's just gonna be awkward. So, yeah, supervised dating. Rotate three quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, until oh, okay, supervised dating until you're married. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go into just, yeah, ridiculous. Again, I know some people are gonna say, oh, you're drop, blah, 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 look, rotate three quarters. I have to do this loosen up, and, you know, this isn't good enough, do you want to see me sober? How can I prove it? Ultimately, uh, you know, how can I prove it? What am I gonna do? A teeth, uh, a blood test and do it every time. Y you know, I'm not going to that level just to prove it. You really want me to do a document, then you pay for the damn test. And I'll do it, if you're really that. Because I got nothing to prove to no one anymore. This is, this is it, take it or leave it. So. <laughs> I know, but, um, when dating someone surprised, go with Mary. If we should know my sources, message me about some of this stuff. Um, also, Google Australia Royal Commission. Look into the two witness rule, aka when a pedophile touches a kid, no one else sees it, they do not report it. There are numerous facts, such as. From 1966 to 1975, this religious organization 
regularly imply that Armageddon would arrive in 1975. However, I asked one of the people in this religious organization about the state, and they will invariably deny that there are being such statements. Also, they don't believe in blood transfusions, which has led to many deaths. If you don't, just call the hospital or ask your doctor. Finally, once one individual is baptized they, and they lead the organization, they shun their children, relatives including their own children. Also look up I'm Worldly on YouTube. He confronts the people in this organization and asks them questions in a polite manner, which is very informative indeed. Again, I'm Worldly. Go on you type in I'm Worldly. Finally, look up Kim, K-I-M-M-I-K-E-Y on YouTube. They take their rule book, Bible, whatever you want to call it, and, yeah, they explain back, explain it all, they take it apart, they prove it wrong, actual facts. Yeah. And these people are leaving this organization, more and more people are flocking, look up those two channels, lots of information there. It's worth noting, it's worth noting that I don't hate people in this organization. Even though, no, quite the opposite, I have hatred towards some of the rules and beliefs, but not the people. In fact, many people in this religious organization are very nice. Misguided, perhaps, in my opinion, blind, brainwashed, etc., in my opinion, etc., etc. Now, back to our story. Finally, I found a reason to give Beth the ring. It would be her promise ring, aka pre engagement ring. So one day I asked Beth her ring size, and she suspected, of course. I was up, she suspected I was up to something. I did my best to be as low key as possible, hot as possible. I was, I simply said I was curious. I simply told her I was curious. Or something to that effect. So I let time pass to try, her, try and catch her off guard. Then when I showed up and revealed the box, I asked her, Do you know what this is? To which she replied, My ring. I opened it up and she go bonkers, and I mean bonkers. She threw herself at me, and nearly knocked me to the floor, gave me a log and hug ever, so now, it's also worth noting, my dad died, and how's I know Buzzkill, but I'll show a picture of ring, settle down here, but gotta show it's closely after this. My dad died in the house. Okay. Uh, mother called before he died. Mercy. Nathan, wake that up, wake that up. So I belted on it, I mean, gave him nearly all my power. Not all anger, just gave him what I could. Gave him power. When wake up, his eyes roll in the back of his head. That image is locked in, and that's, uh, that's a doozy right there. That will likely be on my soul for a very long time, if not forever. Now, ring. Now, let's see. I got pictures beyond pictures here. I may have to pick up where I left off. Yes. Alright. Okay. Unlock Beth is in her room. I don't want to wake her up, so we're gonna have to accept this. These pictures. So hold on a sec. Let's get our names engraved with soulmates forever in it. Now, hold on here. Oh, yes. Now, later on, I gave her a necklace. And I went through, I played the Titanic song, My Heart Will Go On. Good thing I remember this. 
I got her close her eyes. I said, do you trust me? I mean, I, yeah, I, I tried to create that scene in her bedroom. I don't know, just kind of corny, but yeah, I love the movie Titanic. Deal with it! So, here we go. Not the exact one, just variation of it. Absolutely beautiful. She's not much of a jury, but I want her to, I want her to have as much as I loved it. Okay. Now. That ring has so much detail. Here's another detail. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. She actually lost it once, and I got her another one. Get your nose here. She actually lost that, and I got her another one, so. Oh, she did visit me once or twice, too. Beth did manage to visit me. Soulmates forever. I believe it says, yes, yeah, soulmates, some other stuff. Another picture. That's a fully functional sword right up there. Yeah, I'm a knife collector, gladius. Uh, fancy sword. Of us together. Try to take pictures of when I could. There's one of us in our room together. <laughs> Love that. Heavy. Love that heavy. Yes. Such a tiny little thing. She's easy to lift. I love the specter. Gosh, she's beautiful. I went on, I went googling pictures. <laughs> we had a lot of good times together. Such a long, long journey. Honestly. So, I mean, this will explain a lot of videos when she moved out. I'll try to add more of those timelines uh, for fly by on the side of my head. Bugger.
Yes, this one's kind of cute. I like this one. Lavash filet, mad cow, seven percent chocolate coffee and milk, and butt platinum bath like that. That's a nice beer. Have my eyebrow beers, got tired of them. Tried to get it done again later. She said I wouldn't like it. She was right. I disagreed. I was wrong. I could have made it. Here we are, Canadian Club of Ginger Ale. Not my favorite course. She likes it too. <laughs> But shots like that too. Oh yes, her showing off her ring. <sighs> yeah, let's see. Yes, that's this is the last one I got. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. I'll show that. Oh no, this guy's one hog and sword. Full steel. Deal with it. We well, are our opinion, right? I like them. I like. I like them. So. Moose Ginger Light t shirt, actually. Yeah, that, I like that shirt. I don't know how she got that, but I like that beer. Another one. I'm not just Moose. I like Bob. I like Zapro. I don't. Don't. I don't care what you're used to. I like it all. Beer, whiskey, you know, I'm versatile. I'm not blinded. Let's see where we at. Oh, yes. Um, okay, we'll leave it at that. We're at the 27 min mark, so. But yes, I saw his eyes roll in the back of his head. And that left a mark. So, I mean, this is. We've had sad moments, we had happy moments, just amazing. Up and down, this is such an emotional story. And you know, I, I could do this ten times over and I wouldn't be satisfied. I try to keep these videos within half an hour, just, just for my comfort zone. But, yeah. Right, 27 mark. Look, I'll never be happy with this. But I want to get our story out there to... Warn people of this organization, also share our story. People are fast, people want to know. So, YouTube is a good way to share our story, get our message out there, you know? Now, here we go. Anyways, 28 minute mark. So, 